Hi everybody, it's LaToya Silman here. So glad to be talking to you on this day and I really hope that it is a great day for you today as you're watching this. So, you know I'm all about personal improvement, especially when it comes to your finances and your health. And today I wanna to talk about something that I really think that could help any and everyone with a goal and it's called health behaviors. Health behaviors really, in the short of it, is just the journey to get to whatever particular thing instead of the destination. So I used to hear this all the time with my sorority when I was uh, trying to pledge in college or when I was pledging in college, they would say, you know, our sorority is a journey. It's not a destination, it's, which basically means it's not that you get here and then suddenly everything is figured out. No, this is a life thing. This is a life change. This is something that you're going to be in forever. And they're right. Same thing with your health, same thing with your wealth, whatever it is, your career, you wanna make sure that you're doing stuff that's going to position you for the long haul and just not, bam, you get to a certain level and hands are off the brakes or off, you know, off the gas. That's not how this works. You know, in order to, you know, be successful and stay successful, you have to continue the same behaviors, health behaviors. So one thing that I think is really important is for folks to focus on that journey because so many times, with weight loss, for example, we're so stuck on, I gotta lose 20 pounds, I gotta lose 20 pounds. So what do you do? You drive yourself crazy, you're obsessing over every single thing that you put in your mouth, you're weighing yourself every day, and if you don't drop five, 10 pounds in the first day or the first week or so, you're like, forget it, it doesn't work. No, <laughs> but if you focus on your goals, okay, I wanna lose 20 pounds. Well, what does it take to lose 20 pounds and work your way back be specific, I wanna lose 20 pounds, set measurable goals, okay, I'm going to do, I wanna to try to do this amount in a week and be realistic, people, please be realistic. And then what are the things, if you wanna lose two pounds a week, what do you have to do? Well, you have to eat right, you have to exercise. Okay, how many times are you gonna exercise? Be specific, right? So that's really important. So you take inventory, what is it, what is it that I want? Number two, be specific in your goals and three, set measurable goals. And then from there, you're focusing on, I said I was gonna work out three times a week because I think that's what's going to get me to my end result in six months or however, whatever timeline you gave yourself. And so instead of somebody who's focused on and obsessed with 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 20 pounds, or I have to save $10,000 or $20,000 or $50,000, whatever that is, you're saying, I know in order to do this, I am a person who will work out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and you don't stop working out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because that's just what you do, right? I'm a person who eats clean during the week. So what does that mean? I'm gonna food prep. I'm gonna make sure that I eat that food. I'm not a person who goes out and eats during the week. When you start doing that, it just becomes part of your lifestyle, right? And voila, <laughs> when you're focused on just doing those great health behaviors, you will reach your goal and you don't get caught up in the end and the destination, because this is a journey, and we know it's something that we want to keep going, because I guarantee you, you lose that 20 pounds and you go back to your old ways, guess what? It's gonna come back with a vengeance, and now, a couple of months later, when you wake up and say, oh my God, nothing fits, you're gonna have to get back to those health behaviors, but now you're probably gonna have 25 to 30 to lose, so let's just make sure that we're doing everything we need to do every single day, give ourselves some grace, and I know for me, I say when I wake up, I work out. I'm a person who works out when I wake up. And that just takes the guesswork out of it. It's just what I do. It's just what I do. And hopefully it pays off, <laughs> which it does. So anyway, health behaviors. I also wrote a blog about it. If you want to get more in depth, um, you can just go to www.latoyasilman.com, click on blogs, and then you'll see health behaviors. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube page if you like what you see. And don't forget to like and comment below on what you think about this particular video. Have a good one. Bye.